for the fifth consecutive year on USA Network, the prestigious Volvo Master. Almost live, it's the Gong Show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's your host and the star of our show, the boisterous Mr. Chuck Berry. Welcome to the old gong show. It's King Kong's Legs Day on the old gong show. And here to get the things rolling on Tiwi Coast to Coast is Jinx. <laughs> well, my name is Tony and I'm the king of this land. I got the fairway right here in my hand. But when I come to town to take her out, all she wants to do is scream and shout. I'll be over here. You'll be over there. I'm King Kong and I got a lot of hair. I was stomping through the jungle just to get my kicks. I used native spears for my two sticks. Always thought that I scared to death, but it wasn't my looks, it was my bad breath. I'll be over here, you'll be over there. I'm King Kong and I got a lot of hair. When them dinosaurs come messing with me, I hit them on the head with a big old tree. I knock them down, stomp them flat. I'm King Kong, now how about that? Ah, you got kangaroo, King. Gee, why did you do that, Artie? Gorilla, my dreams, I love you. I see, you got that. Oh, well, thanks a lot, King. It's been nice having you on the show. We'll be back to meet our celebrities and see some stuff right after this message. Our celebrities. We received a lot of mail recently asking if Artie Johnson is self-conscious about his height. We found out the only time it bothers him is when he's standing up. <laughs> Artie Johnson. All right, please welcome now a delightful lady who was voted, <laughs> voted by her high school graduating class as the girl most likely to, J.P. Morgan. Before making baseball his career, our next guest had thoughts about going into show business. He thought about selling secondhand raincoats. No, we'll go right past that from Los Angeles. From the Los Angeles Dodgers, my friend Steve Garvey. Steve. It's nice to see you, Steve. Uh, it's just a... All right, now, when you see the first, this next group, you'll probably say to yourself, who are those guys? And you know what? You're absolutely right. Here are... Who are those guys? I say someday I'm bound my heart away and I do it's for you love to love seems to be all I'm thinking to find somebody who will be kind, kind to only me. Guys, all right, Artie Johnson. I haven't the slightest idea what they just did. Not the slightest idea, but I liked it. I give them a ten. ten. All right, that's fine. J.P. Morgan. It's really hard to sing to just clapping hands. You that know it. That's good. another ten. ten. That's twenty points. Steve Garvey. Those are the good guys. I all right, a full house. Thirty points. That's as good as it gets. Next, this next lady works as a full-time secretary in Washington, D.C. Not only can she type, but she also has two desks, one for each foot. 
a future condominium, here is Valerie Fawn Braxton. <laughs> I'm doing a monologue about a lady who had her own radio program in the 40s and 50s, and she's now doing her first television appearance. <clears throat> Tell me when, Mr. Valentine, being my first television appearance, I'm somewhat a Twitter. <laughs> Make sure the camera gets my best angles. <laughs> you know, ladies, New York is simply gorgeous on a morning like this. Lady Springtime has finally arrived, and she's flashing about in a gay profusion of colors. Which reminds me that Jiffy Glow Spray Enamel is available in such a large variety of colors that Dame Nature herself could turn pale with envy. <laughs> Remember our little jingle girls? <clears throat> <clears throat> Spit or spatter as you go when your enamel is Jiffy Glow. <laughs> Aren't I just cute, ladies? <laughs> <clears throat> and you know, ladies, on a radiant day like today, one should have that, that, the French thought of it first, that joy de vivre type feeling, and one does not have the joy. Or, for that matter, the vivre, or could it be that you didn't have your goldy orange juice for breakfast this morning? <laughs> Remember our little jingle? <laughs> mm. oh, for zip and go, and go and zip, it's Goldie's orange juice, you'll sip. <laughs> That was fine. That was real good. Now, Valerie, let's find out what the celebrities think. J.P. Morgan. I thought she was excellent. I really enjoyed her. Ah, see that? A <laughs> uh, ten. <laughs> Steve Garvey. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I was looking for in that act, but I gave her a seven, no matter what. A uh, seven. All right. Artie Johnson. I, I think J.P.'s analysis of the audience reaction was absolutely warranted. And I, I feel that uh, this is one of the finest actresses I've seen in a long time. I give her a 10. Oh, you have 27 points, Valerie, and that's a good score. Thanks for being on our show. We'll be back <laughs> with more stuff right after this message. This is playing a huge sousaphone but got a hernia dragging it from gig to gig. So she changed instruments. And ladies and gentlemen, here she is. Her name is, and oh, I like her, Sherry Maltman. What do you think of Sherry Moore? Undeniably the best harmonica player I've heard today. All I'll right, ten. that's 10. That's terrific. Artie Johnson. I think she's an excellent a harmonica player, too, also. An 8. An 8. Good. And J.P. Morgan. I think Artie's drunk. 9. <laughs> and that gives you Sherry 27 points. And that's good. Thanks for being on the show. All right. Okay, now, don't forget, Friday is the worst act award of the week on The Gong Show. That's when we pay tribute to the most outrageous performer of the week. You may remember some past worst acts, winners like this one. That's $516.32.
22 cents for the worst act of the week. Every Friday, who will it be this week? All right, our next duo comes to us from Goose Creek, Texas. They said if they win $516.32, they plan to use it by Goose Creek, Texas. Let's have a polite <laughs> applause for the palatable pair of performers. Oh, you are, uh, I do like these people. Ward and St. Clair. <laughs> Lately I've been spending time and a hard-earned dime or two Sitting at the counter at Ray's Cafe, wondering what was new And I confess I've been shooting pool, reading the paper till my eyes were sore Learning less than I did in school and wishing I believed it more Well, hey Ray, can you fill my cup? Help me make it through the afternoon Keep it coming till it wakes me up, cause words are familiar but I can't remember the tune No, I can't remember the tune Hey, waitress, give me another cup of coffee, would you? Say, whatever happened to that egg I ordered? Oh, well, if you got change for a nickel, I need some pennies for the Swami Speaks napkin holder Yeah, I got lots of questions I've been wanting to ask that guy Hey, Ray, can you fill my cup? Help me make it through the afternoon Keep it coming till it wakes me up Cause the words are familiar But I can't remember the tune No, I can't remember the tune I want to three, four All right Okay Artie Johnson, Ward and Sinclair. <laughs> well, every once in a while I see an act that makes me uh, realize wh when I wonder why I do the show, why I do the show, and this is one of them. I give them a 10. All right. <laughs> J.P. Morgan, a Love 10. It. Steve yeah. Garvey. He's my kind of waitress. All <laughs> right, that's 30 points for Ward and Sinclair. Good score. Thank you for being on the show. All right, and now, ladies and gentlemen, a little, uh, a little culture. Ladies and gentlemen, Nazo Literatus. Uh, I have some very humorous riddles here. Oh, he'll go ahead. Yes. Fine. Humorous. Humorous. Humorless riddles. What's yellow has four wheels and lies on its back? What? A dead school bus. Oh. Okay. Get him out of here. <laughs> what happened? Wait. This, this is a Cracker Jack. What happened when the farmer blew up his pig pen? What? Swine flu. No. Wait. This is a knee slapper. A knee slapper. Yes. What state in the union is like a small beverage? What? Which one? Minnesota. Yeah. I don't think you're funny. I think you're a disgrace and a demagogue and should be banished from this state forever. <laughs> And would you get me into commercial, please? Big deal! Just get me into commercial. We'll be right back with more John Show stuff right after this message. Welcome a man who says he's a Lithuanian mail carrier. Not to be confused with a Romanian cross your heart bra. Let's have a squeamish welcome. Oh, this guy has energy. He comes out and he gives you stuff. Yeah. Morton Michaels. My first impersonation will be Jimmy Durante. I goes up to a guy the other day, and he ups to me, and I ups to him, and he says, Jimmy, sing me a song. So I says, okay. So I goes like this. Ink. The ding the ding The ding the ding The ding the ding Oh, what a song. What a song. Ha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Look at that profile, folks. Look at that profile. Ain't it humiliating? <laughs> Peter Laurie. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to commit a murder. 
Shall I do it by strangulation? Or perhaps by slitting somebody's throat? Or perhaps by drowning somebody? Comrade, do you have the plans? Al Joseph. Nothing could be finer than a big Carolina in the morning. Strolling with my girlie, bright and early, in the birdie, in the morning. If I had a lad slap, it would I I'd make a wish, it would I do. Nothing could be finer than a big Carolina in the morning. Bravo, Morton. Bravo. You stay right here. We'll find out what JP thinks of you. JP? Seven. Seven. Uh, seven for Morton Just Michael. Just for Al Joseph alone. Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey. <laughs> Steven? I've got, I've got to be like that Russian judge and grade him a little low. I gave him a four. A uh, four. And Artie Johnson. Artie. <laughs> I like every one of the people he portrayed. They're great performers, and they deserve respect from the audience. I give them a nine. <laughs> that gives you 20 points, Morton. And that's a good score. Yeah. And thanks for being here. Yeah. Right after you. Yeah. Morton wasn't listening in the first of this was really good. All right. Our next performer was going to come out here and sing with joy and gusto. Yeah. Unfortunately, joy and gusto got themselves a gig in Vegas. So he's stuck here alone. Let's have, <laughs> let's have an empty-handed welcome. Oh, wait to see this. Ladies and gentlemen, Tootie Fennell. <laughs> Aretha singing in the back there. That was not Tootie. We we're doing a little record there. And Steve Garvey, what do you think of, of Tootie Fennell? I give Tootie an, an agile nine on that. That an was exciting. Agile nine. Good score. Artie Johnson. I loved it. A nine. Another nine. Another nine. 27 points for you, Tootie. And that's to the back. Lots of frills. We'll be back with stuff right after this message. Runners up receive the truth. Are those guys over here and Ward and Sinclair over here? Our celebrities will choose the winner, J.P. Morgan. Who did you all choose? Oh, we chose those guys over there. These guys, <laughs> Ward and Sinclair. You're our winner. All right. You step right in the middle there. Come right over here. Here's your trophy that shows you that you have reached an all-time high in something and your check for $516.32. I want to thank you all. Thank you, Milton Gallagher, the man with a thug. Artie Johnson, J.P. Morgan, and Steve Garvey. Jimmy Albert, and me. Bye-bye.
Coming up next, Hop Aboard USA's Cartoon Express. Then at 7 Eastern, it's Radio 1990, featuring top video artists and music news about all of your favorite rock and roll stars with your hosts, Catherine Kinley and Lisa Robinson, all ahead on USA.